causes us, us to triumph. Hallelujah. And it's not me that's speaking this morning. I want you to hear the voice of the Lord. Hallelujah. And it speaks to you. And so God gave me this message on last night, sometime last night. And the reason why he gave this to me, I believe, is because I'm going through a transition in my life. I realized that I was not in a healthy place. I was overweight. I was not running. I wasn't walking. I wasn't moving. And I and I decided I was like, you know what? I need to do something about this. It's been two almost. It's been a year since Nathan was born. There's no excuse for me still looking like this. So and I'm, I'm, I'm the Bible says that confession is good for the soul. Hallelujah. We overcome by the words of our testimony and the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. So I went to the doctor and I said I, I, I went to him and I was thinking I need him to tell me kind of like where I am. So he said you are 261 pounds. 261.5 pounds. And then he looked at the little BMI scale and he just turned it over to the other side. He said, the BMI is 50. And I looked at him and I, I'm still smiling on my face. He was like, you are really in the percentage of my patients who need gastric bypass surgery. You're beyond normal. This is not, you, you're on the other side. And so that came, when he said that to me, a weight just dropped. And I was like, oh my God, what have I done? How did I get to the place where I need some kind of surgery in order for me to lose weight. I, I really, I really thought that I just needed, you know, I might lose maybe 40, 60 pounds and I'd be all right. But it's amazing how you see yourself one way, but when you go to a professional, they can tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. He didn't cut no corners. He said you need to lose weight. Okay, so then after he said that, he said, well, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna challenge you to lose two pounds this over this month. And I said, okay, I can go. I said, I can do more than two pounds. Just two pounds, I can lose about 10 pounds. So that, at the end of that month, I went back to the doctor. I stood on the scale. She said, you're at 259.5 pounds. I, I lost hardly nothing. Like, I, I lost a pound and a half. That's all I had lost in a whole month. And I was blown away. Like, And he's looking at me saying, that's, that's pretty good, but you, you really need to go to that consultation so you can talk to the people about the gastric bypass. This is ridiculous. This is not going to work. And I said, I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready to have surgery. Lord, I need to get myself under control. There is something that God put in this called the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost gives you temperance in all things. It's not just temperance so you can stop cutting up in the flesh. But it's temperance so you can learn how to eat right. So you can learn how to move and not just sit there looking at TV. Hallelujah. So I praise him today. Hallelujah. For that opportunity. For that for that experience that I had. So he started me on this regimen and he put me on some appetite suppressant. And he said, you take this once a day and it's going to help you so that you can like be able to eat correctly. And I said, oh, that's a good idea. So he, I started taking those. Well, let me tell you something. Just because you take a pill, that's not the end result. A pill doesn't solve the problem. And a lot of times what we try to do is do everything else that's the slow route. Like I want everything convenient. I want it to be microwave and happen tomorrow. So at that end of that week, when I got on that scale and I had actually gained weight, I was a mad somebody. But I realized that there was a problem there. There was something else that I needed to do. So I just said all that to give you the introduction that we are talking today about running the race. We are in the Believer's Marathon. Hallelujah. And this is, I'm, this, this, the subtop is, I'm in it winning. That means there's no quitting. You don't stop. You don't stop running. We're in this race. Hallelujah. And so the first thing we want to talk about is who is in this marathon. Some of y'all might be looking like, well, I don't know if I'm part of this. But the, the Believer's Marathon, everybody that is a believer is in the Believer's Marathon. And a believer is someone who has experienced the new birth according to Acts 2 and 38. It reads, then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sin, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now I want you to ask yourself, am I in the race? Am I a believer? Have I, have I met all the requirements for believing? That's right. If you are not a believer, you your destination is hell. I heard um, Deacon Jones speaking on today. He said, he said, I did not want to go to hell. I think that's what he said. And I said, Lord, that, yeah, that's part of my message. I don't want to go to hell. So that means that if I'm not a believer right now, I need to get in a place where I can become a believer. Hallelujah. And all those that are not racing are doomed. Now, entering this marathon is not an option. That means you have to get in a marathon. You have to do something. You can't just stand there and say, I'm going to be on the fence. I'm not going to live holy. I'm not going to be wicked. I'm just going to stand in the middle. That is not an option. You have to do something. Hallelujah. And then the next question is, what is the goal of the marathon? Well, the goal is to finish. Hallelujah. In most marathons, the runner's goal is not to be the first one to finish. But to simply finish. In the Believer's Marathon, we must finish so that we will be saved. Ecclesiastes 9 and 11 says the race is not 
says, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. Hallelujah. So that means that I have to go all the way to the end. I can't stop. Hallelujah. I can't just decide. I'm just giving up. It's over. I'm not. I ain't running this race. I'm done with you. I'm done with this race. No, you have to keep on going. Because remember, quitting is not an option. I have to finish. Hallelujah. Therefore, quitting is not an option. Have a goal in mind. Um, the Bible says, he that endureth to the end shall be saved. And if we're looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith, hallelujah, we're looking to him who already finished his race. Yes. He already went to the cross for us. He already died. The Bible said he endured the cross, despised and ashamed. He's already made it. Hallelujah. And so we're looking to him and say, Lord, I just want to get there. If I can just finish, hallelujah, this race, hallelujah. I just want to finish. I ain't trying to be the fastest one across the finish.
this at home. That means that you don't think, don't go home and think, I'm going to run this race at my house. Yeah. I'm going to run this race by myself. I don't need nobody's help. I'm going to, see, I'm one of those people that I don't like going to the gym because I don't want nobody to see how bad I look. I don't want to go, I don't want to run outside because I don't want to see nobody see my stuff jiggling. I'm not trying to do all that. But let me tell you something about the house of God. If you want to grow, gain weight, lose weight, Allow. 